Yo, what's good, family? This your man, Big Mike, checking in. Real Talk TV. Eh. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing out there? Hope everybody's doing well. I trust y'all doing well. If you ain't, it'll be all right, man. It's always, uh, you know what I'm saying? Even though Rain Man do it for a night, the sun comes in the morning, man. So y'all keep your heads up. Whatever you're going through, you know what I'm saying? Just know that, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It'll last forever. I can attest to that. Just keep a positive mindset. You'll be all right, all right? Anywho, uh, I want to say thank you to my recent subscribers, man. I just hit over 300 subscribers. To me, that's crazy. I never saw myself doing YouTube videos, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when I only had, like, six or seven subscribers. I'm telling y'all, it was, like, not that long ago. I only had, like, single-digit, double-digit subscribers, and I reached 300 uh, just a couple of days ago. So I want to give a shout-out and a big thank you to those who subscribe to the channel, who've been supporting who watch my videos quite often. Y'all know who y'all are. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, man, for real. Y'all taking y'all time out of y'all day to hear what I got to say and to watch me. I mean, I'll, I mean, even as I grow, I'll always remember times like this, man, because it was you guys, you know what I'm saying, who made all this happen, man, who uh, helped me grow. You know what I'm saying? Leaving comments, let me know how much I may have helped you or inspired you or what I said resonated with you. You can relate to it. So I appreciate y'all who've been doing that, like for real, like I mean that, sincerely, okay? I sincerely mean that. Y'all could have been doing anything else, but you took the time out of your day to watch my video, and I appreciate that. All right. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, please. I would appreciate it. Help me continue to grow. Like the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know y'all story. As I say in every video, almost, man, like I make these videos for you guys. I make these videos... Also for therapy for myself, because I mean, I'm just a regular person. I mean, I got a decent paying job. I mean, I live a pr pretty good life, but at the end of the day, I'm a regular dude. You know what I'm saying? I go through things like everybody else. I ain't no different. The reason I share this is because I want y'all to know that y'all not alone. Whatever y'all going through, I've been through most of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all. So that's why I make these videos. Um, and... It just pleasures me to know that things I share, somebody can relate to it, or they got a story of their own to share with me. They might have felt like they might have been the only one, and knowing that from hearing my video, that they're not the only one. So I appreciate that a great deal, man. Okay, so get into my topic. I want to talk about why it was important to learn not to always give money to your family. Matter of fact, you should do that as least as possible. Now, I'm not saying, hear me out on this one. I'm speaking more so of like begging, hanger on family members. Y'all know who they are. If when I said that somebody came to mind, that's who your, your, your hanger on begging family member is, man. Like we all, if not, well, most of us, if not all of us have them in our family, man. We all know that one person in our family that always needs something. It seems to only hit you up when they need something and never seem to ever, ever like get their stuff together. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, you know, I got them in my family. We all got them in our family. Most of us do, if not all of us. Um, but I want to talk to you guys, man, about why you need to learn to say no to your family sometimes. Um, because you're enabling them. You're not going to ever help your family members get better if you always build them out of trouble every time they get into it. The reason they're doing that is because they know at the end of the day, they have the safety net, which is you. They know they have a safety net in you. So you think they're going to want to learn? Like the old saying goes, you give a man the fish, he eats for a day. You teach a man the fish, he eats for a lifetime. Because now he has a skill set that will continuously feed him. I get it that we get family members who may be in trouble from time to time. I'm not talking about family members who find themselves in unfortunate situations where they may have been struggling a little bit, you know what I'm saying, may have suddenly lost their job or uh, catastrophe hits them or it's a case of uh, they're trying, they're, they're striving for, for, uh, to do their own thing, but they may have fell a little short. Like they have a job, for instance, they only make 400 bucks and they have a bill that's 500. They need to borrow 100 bucks. Now, I see that they're trying on their own to get whatever they get. So, of course, I'm going to be more inclined to help that person because I see that they're trying. They're putting forth some effort in life. Now, I'm talking about family members who you know for a fact ain't doing jack crap with their life, right? 
and they see you doing everything you can to make it on your own two feet and, and work hard for your money, and yet they want to continuously hassle you for yours. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, if y'all got a family member like that, hey, got to cut that out. Stop it. Stop it. You got to nip that in the bud, man. Because I'm telling you, you get that habit started with these people. I don't get who. I don't care who they are, family or no family. You get that habit started, it's gonna be very, very hard to stop. And then when it does stop, if you do decide to stop it, they gonna villainize you. Because you're going to do 99 good things for them, but that first time you say no, oh, they're going to hate your guts. They're going to hate your guts. The first time you tell them no, they're going to talk about you to every Tom, Dick, and Harry who will be willing to listen about how you ain't shit, how you stingy, how you done switched up, you done changed. I heard it myself. So I saw I know that. You think you all that now. Because you stay, you finally standing up firm for what you want to do now. And you finally saying no, having a backbone. And now they're looking at you like, oh, you different now. Oh, wow, it's like that? Listen, man, you work too hard for your money. Just give it away to family members who ain't doing nothing with their life. And a lot of times, y'all, most of us know them family members too, who only call when they need something. Now, does that sound like love? Did that sound like somebody who loves you? Only time they hit you up is when they need something. Other than that, you never hear from them. Matter of fact, it gets so bad with certain family members, man. When you call, when they call you, just by the tone of any voice, you already know that conversation going. You already know they're about to ask for something. When they bullshit around, hey man, uh, uh, how you doing today? Yeah, yeah, there's some funny weather out here, isn't it? Like, come on, man, cut the shit. What do you want? Oh, I was wondering if I. You already knew it was coming. You already knew it was coming. So when you got family members like that, man, feed them with a long handle spoon. Feed them with a long handle spoon. Yeah, you, you can love them and all that, but cut that off, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, cut it off. You work too hard for your money and it don't make no sense for you to continue to struggle, work hard and struggle just to try to please everybody else around you. You're only one person. You're only one person. It's not wise to try to support two households with one paycheck. You got your own things to take care of, your own bills, your responsibilities. You want to have fun, don't you? You want to go out and take vacations and do, do something nice for yourself every once in a while, don't you? It will help others in need that really, really needs it. Not somebody who's just sitting on their ass all day and then complaining about how life ain't fair, asking you for all your money, trying to suck you for yours. And they know if you got one of those overly generous hearts, you're going to give it to them. Like a fool. And yeah, I said fool. Because guess what? You can be so generous to the point of being a fool. To the point of you not having any, any boundaries. And people see that. People see that. Why do you think they always come to you? And I'm not trying to insult anybody out there by saying that word fool. I'm not trying to, because I've been a fool. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to sit here and try to insult nobody or make y'all feel some type of way. If I, you know, if that offended you in any way, I don't mean it like that. But what I am saying is it's foolish. Matter of fact, let me not call the, the person. I'm not trying to call whoever's watching a fool who may have done that. But it is indeed foolish to give away, you know, your hard-earned money time and time and time again to somebody who you know ain't going out of their way to get their own. They just coming for yours. They, 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 they leeches. Man, cut the people out of your life, man. Or have limited, limited association with them. All they see you for is a meal ticket. Easy way to get a buck. That's the only, way they, that's the only reason why they only call you when they need you. If they only call you when they need you, they don't ever call you at any other time to check if you're still alive or not. All the only time they ever call you is when they need something. And see how they act when you say no. They're going to hate your guts. They may stop calling you. They may tell everybody how you done changed up and switched up and how you ain't shit and blah, 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 blah. And now um, once they go that far, you already know what their intentions are. You already know. So listen, man. 
you got to have discernment. Though you might have a good heart, a big heart, you may, though you may be generous, there's nothing wrong with that. Spend your time giving it to those who really, really need it and those who appreciate it. Spend your, spend your time helping those who at least are trying to pull, put forth some effort in life. The only people who you should help and not worry about their, you know, what they got going on is the disabled. The elderly, the children, and the, the, the disabled people. And women. You know, sometimes. A grown-ass man, especially a grown-ass man, that's able-bodied, can get a job but won't, that's coming to you asking you for yours. Now, that's over with. That's over with. I mean, at least in my world, I know it is. And should be in yours, too. Quit having such a big heart that it makes you blind, man. Because people see that generous heart of yours and they're coming forward. They're going to take advantage. When a lion hunts, when if you ever watch National Geographic, I'm a big fan of National Geographic and those safari, you know, lion safari videos. I'm a big fan of this. I love watching lions. If you notice a lion's uh, patterns when they hunt, they always seek out the weak one in the bunch or in the herd, the weak one in the herd. They always seek out that weak one. The animal that's sick, too young, or maybe too old or something like that, they always look out for that weak one. They don't want to get, they, they don't want to, they don't want to challenge. They don't want to challenge and having to work hard for their meal. They want an easy meal. And that's how people who try to take advantage of you see you. They see you as an easy meal. The weak one. Why just why they always coming for you? They know who to try and who not to try with that stuff. They always come to you because they know you're going. You are easy. Yes, you're going to be like, oh yeah, I got a good heart, or I'm a Christian. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong being like begin giving according to the Bible. But even with that, you go, you gotta still have boundaries. You still gotta not be a fool. Now, you know what I'm saying. You still need money to, to help yourself and help those who. You know what I'm saying? That, that's really trying to do something with their life. Not just trying to give it out to everybody and help the world because you can't do that. You can't save the world. And how are you going to help anybody if you're giving all your money away? You can't help nobody if you can't help yourself. Yeah, you struggle. Some of y'all may be struggling with your own bills, barely getting by, and yet you still giving, trying, you know, trying to bend over backwards, giving everybody else when you barely getting by yourself? Man, no, man. Get yourself straight. Get yourself situated. How can you be of help to anybody else when you're struggling yourself? And that's just real, man. I say that because I give a damn. That's just real. Anyway, I'm not gonna hold y'all any longer. It's been 13 minutes, over 13 minutes now. I'm gonna get on up out of here and eat my dinner. But man, I just want to get that off my heart real quick. I had in mind to share that. But yeah, that's all I got, y'all. Hey, love y'all. Hope y'all have a great evening. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video, let me know what you like in the comments and all that good stuff, man. It's your boy Big Mike checking out. Peace.